This is to demonstrate how an action potential is sent down an axon. This is the axon membrane, and you have voltage-gated ion channels in the membrane. The inside of the cell is a negative 70 millivolts compared to the outside. This is a polarity. Now suppose this ion channel, the sodium ion channel, opens up and sodium comes rushing in. This affects this voltage-gated ion channel. And now the polarity is less. It's been depolarized. It's no longer negative 70 millivolts. It's negative 65 millivolts around this ion channel. That meets the threshold for this voltage-gated ion channel. And it opens up. Sodium comes rushing in and affects another ion channel further down the axon. This opens up. Sodium comes rushing in, and meanwhile, ion channels begin to close behind it. Now we have a directional message. It might look something like this. Let's say this is the cell body, and this is the axon hillock, and this is the axon. This is myelin, and these are nodes of Ranvier. The depolarization affects this one and then moves down. That's a propagation of an action potential. This affects this node, this affects that node. Now, meanwhile, at the same spot, you're going to get a depolarization because of the, because of the sodium ions coming in, but you're going to get a repolarization, getting it back to that polarity because potassium is going to leave. So first sodium channels open up and it depolarizes, then potassium channels open up and it repolarizes with potassium leaving. Sodium channels close and sodium can't get in. So while sodium can no longer get in, potassium continues to leave and repolarize the cell. This graph is shown in many textbooks and it shows time along the x-axis and the voltage difference comparing the inside and the outside along the y-axis. So at rest down here, a neuron has a negative 70 millivolts on the inside compared to the outside. If sodium is allowed to come in because of ion channels opening up, we get a depolarization. We're getting less polarized. Now, let's say there's voltage-gated ion channels that have a threshold of a negative 65. Once they're reached, then a lot of them open up and we get this depolarization, repolarization happening. Why does that happen? Because first, sodium channels are opening up. Sodium is entering the axon, and it's becoming less polarized because more positive is coming in. Then potassium channels begin to open, but sodium is still entering while potassium is leaving. And then sodium channels close. Now sodium can no longer come into the cell, but potassium is still leaving. Positive is leaving, so the inside becomes more negative. That's a repolarization. So potassium channels stay open, and they'll actually stay open so much so that you'll get a hyperpolarization, a place where it's not negative 70, it's even more because so much potassium has left. Finally, it'll get back up to a resting state.